Most exciting Dodger action continues to take place in court, where Frank and Jamie back at it today. The game will move to a different venue on Friday when attorneys for the two sides will go into mediation to try and settle before the judge rules. Perhaps the foremost authority on all things McCourt divorce is 24-year-old Josh Fisher, a University of Minnesota law student, lifelong Dodger fan. Josh started the website DodgersDivorce.com, and he is the expert, and he's with us tonight. Josh, thanks for being here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Let's just cut right to it. Mediation. They've gone through the theatrics in court, and now they're to a point of mediation. Why did they go through the theatrics in the first place? Um, we, we took as much time and energy as we did to get here because we had to get certain issues on the table. So issues that were very well briefed before the trial, um, but testimony that needed to happen. And now that Larry Silverstein, the McCourt's former Boston attorney, will be done on the stand tomorrow, we'll be at a place where it's appropriate for the parties to talk. He got carved up, didn't he, Silverstein? Oh, he came out looking pretty bad. Uh, I, I, I tweeted at one point today that I, I wasn't sure who was on trial, the McCourts or, or Larry Silverstein. Um, it's not been a good few days to be him. The judge was very involved in the questioning of Larry Silverstein, wasn't he? Absolutely, and that was something unique so far in the trial. Um, you, you could definitely tell how important Silverstein's testimony was to the issue because of how involved Judge Gordon was in clarifying issues and, and asking um, for more details. Now, when they go to mediation, obviously that's to settle. Are we to assume because they're going to enter into mediation that one side at this point believes they're going to lose? I think the, the bigger issue right now is that both sides are beginning, beginning to fear the neg negative consequences of a loss, uh, which means it's an appropriate time for mediation uh, because it would keep the decision out of Judge Gordon's hands. That being the case, why couldn't they have handled this at the very beginning? Why did all of this have to become public? Oh, the, you know, that's probably the biggest question in the entire situation. If they would have come together on an agreement in, say, October, none of the negative information would have come out from the finances to the psychic. Uh, but at this point, it appears, looking backwards, they're much too stubborn and much too bitter to, to let that happen. All right, so they go to mediation, and I would assume that Jamie, in any regard, would want a piece of the club, or at least money to represent that she had a piece of the club if Frank demands to hold on to it. How in the world can he pay her? How much would he have to pay her? Gosh, I, I really have no idea. I think where you start is uh, that if they were to sell the team and liquidate all the assets, maybe each one walks net, net of debt with something like three, four hundred million dollars, and that's on the very high end. And so anything she would take in a settlement would be considerably below that. Look for a lump sum, um, annual payments, and perhaps a cut of future Dodgers revenue. All right, we have about a minute and a half left. So <laughs> let's say it works the way you just suggested. How is Frank McCord, he's not liquid enough to be able to pay her a lump sum and make these payments and still maintain the team on the field, is he? Well, earlier today, they were asking uh, Larry Silverstein about creating the post nup and he said that he didn't explain much about, much about cash to Frank at the time because Frank wasn't terribly big on cash, and that's still the case. Um, it, it's, it's an open question whether he'd be able to pay for this kind of settlement, uh, but I suppose we'll find out soon enough. All right, as we wrap it up, Frank McCord has just taken a beating in the press. He's taken a beating around town. Can he recover? Is there any way, because he says he refuses to sell, he's going to own the Dodgers. Can he ever come out of this on top? Gosh, I think the only way he can really recover his image at this point is to win, and I'm not sure that there's the money or the organizational stability or plan to get that done. Yeah, that, that's going to take some time. So in the next couple of years, from what you've been able to discern, the club's going to be in trouble if he continues to own it. Fair? Not fair. In trouble, I, I think, is, is, is fair. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's Los Angeles. People are going to come to games. Hopefully they'll put a young, exciting team on the field and people get excited about it. All right. Well, we're excited to have you tonight. Thanks for coming in. You're doing a terrific job. It's great. You are the authority on this, and you've done a fantastic job of covering it. Josh, thanks so much. It's been a pleasure.